What's going on, everybody? Happy day, happy Friday, all that good stuff. We're all gonna have a really good time. We're gonna do something very interesting, in my personal opinion. I love, I love, oh, oh, I love the bulky balls. I love pokeball tins. I think they're fun. They're decently cheap. They're eight ninety nine a piece. They're not bad, but you know what? The fun thing is, is looking at the bottoms of them. So they have all these numbers on the bottom of them that always tell you what's inside of them, right? Well, these ones are the ones that are out right now, currently at Walmart, Target, whatever. The A22s and E22s. Is there a difference? I don't know. The crazy thing is that the A22s are the regular ones, the, and the E22s are these ones. It's different. I don't understand why they did that, but we're going to figure it out, see if they're the exact same thing. So if you could, I, I really appreciate it. If you, you know, hit a like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. I love opening up Pokeballs. They're so much fun, in my personal opinion. So uh, let's get this thing started, right, shall we? One, before we actually start into it, I want to say it is Friday. You know what that means, that we do a giveaway. Yeah, because... I'm giving away this birthday Pikachu from Celebrations, and the reasoning by this is that my channel has actually had its birthday. I have officially been doing Pokemon YouTube for two years now. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like it's forever. I started this in, actually, the end of February of 2021. Started doing YouTube. Shiny Fates is my very first opening. Then I did Dollar General opening, so... Yeah, um, go check that out if you really want to watch a really cringe video. Anyway, yes, today is my, uh, this, I guess, end of February was my birthday for my channel. So I am giving someone, a lucky winner, a birthday Pikachu. And all you got to do is just leave a comment. I don't care, just something you like about my channel, something I, I can improve on. Oh, you know, whatever the case would be, just go ahead and leave a comment. I don't care what the comment is. Just leave me a comment, something positive, please, about, a, it's my two-year anniversary on YouTube. Now we're gonna get back onto it. Now the poke. Now what I was saying was the Pokeballs have an A22 on it, and, and these usually tell you what year and what um, month they are in, right? So these are the Pokeballs. The so Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball. I have all have A22s with because it's really odd. And the Premium Ball has an E22. The Premium Ball, the Quick Ball, and the Luxury Ball, all three have E22s. I don't know if that's a coincidence of just a type of ball or what the case may be, because it would mean that this is a different month of the same year, which is different. So I'm really, really curious. These are the balls that are actually out right now. You can find Walmart. I always look for different kind of balls, especially the D21s. If you ever find D21s, those are the ones with the Cosmic Eclipse in them. So yeah, if you see those, you definitely should grab on those right away. And we're going to get this thing started. Shall we? I should have probably opened these things up beforehand, but I don't like to do that. Anyway, we're going to do a Poke Ball here. We got ourselves a nice little coin first of all. I'm going to show you the coin. Yeah, they all have coins in them, and uh, it's gone. No, no, I don't need that coin. I got a whole box full of coins and balls. You don't, you don't want to know how many Pokeballs I have. It comes with Brilliant Stars, Evolving Skies, and Fusion Strike. Very, very good cards. And I do believe these are the exact same packs that are in the Sam's Club one. Not 100% sure on that, but we're going to... Let's, let's do this. You know, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars. Three of my more favorite openings. So... Here we go. How's everybody doing today? It is Friday. It's the weekend. We're all having some good times. And you know what? We're getting closer and closer again to, to um, Fort Wayne Regionals, which I will be going to in Indiana. So if you see me there, I mean, I had a, someone the other day say that asked me. He said he really recognized me. I don't think it was from my YouTube. Maybe it was. I mean, honestly, he looked familiar to me too. But Jigglypuff, we got something Durant, Snob, and... A Luxray. All right. Fusion Strike struck out on us that time. I love Pokeballs. I can't help it. I You should see how many of these I have laying around that I've opened up. Not to mention, like, I still have a couple of them that are sealed in a way. You know, I have some in the background as well. I love these things. I don't know why. I can't help myself. Brilliant Stars. What we got for Brilliant Stars here? We are looking for the same old, same old. Charizard, Charizard. Birds. Alternate Art, Arceus. All that good stuff. I'm not missing a ton out of here. Only like nine cards. But anyway, we got Celtic Man a Mancino, a Bow Toy, a um, Sigilith, and a Star Raptor. Okay, nothing in that pack as well. First ball striking on us, but you know what? Evolving Skies is the more important pack, right? We want something in Evolving Skies. That's the most important one. We are personally looking for a Leafeon or a Sylveon VMAX alternate art. If we somehow happen to get the Umbreon, we will take that as well, right? I mean, you can't complain about another Umbreon if that's the case. So, Evolving Skies, what are we going give, to give it to us? Come on, Evolving Skies. You have always made me cry. And I, just, I love you. And you just need to, like, be nice to me. I'm trying to love you. I want to love you, Evolving Skies. I do. But you're upsetting me with how hard you are to pull. We got ourselves an Eevee. All right. Very, very nice Eevee. And a Hollow Rare. Just a Hollow Rare Salamence. That's it. Anyway... 
We are going to, like I said, we are going to do the 822s next. See, 822. It's, I think it's really odd. I don't understand it. And if my voice sounds a little, like, harshed out, I do think I'm kind of getting some sort of a cold. There's definitely some sicknesses going on in my household. And, uh, you think, <clears throat> so I'm sorry if my voice seems a little, like, parched or, like, not as energized. That's what's going on. My, I'm sorry for that. But, yeah, we got some little bit of coldness going on in our, in our family, I think, right now. No COVID, though. We've been tested. Done with that. No, no, none of that stuff. But, yeah, same packs. Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, and Brilliant Stars. All right, Fusion Strike, what do you got for us this time? Still looking for, uh, not looking for anything crazy out of Fusion Strike, but if we, did, if we want something, we would definitely want the Gengar the, or the Espeon. Those two would be the biggest cards you'd want, honestly. So I would take those personally just because I would love to get one of them graded. The ones that I have are not gradable in my personal opinion. They would not get tense. Cross switcher and a Synth Scorch. So I would love to get them graded. Brilliant stars. All right, brilliant stars. You're the one I really want some hits out of. Come on. I'm missing mostly trainer gallery stuff out of brilliant stars, honestly. I'm only missing maybe like three cards out of the main set and then like five out of the trainer gallery set for some reason. I don't know how that's possible. I opened up so much Brilliant Stars. And if you want to go check it out, I do have a playlist of it as well. Bottle Toy, Mag Mortar, and me too. Along with a playlist of all the other uh, sets that I've opened up on this channel. Going back, you know, there's a lot of actual playlists on this channel, honestly. There's a lot of them. So, yeah. Evolving Skies. You want to see some Evolving Skies? I got a playlist for it. Brilliant Stars, playlist for it. You know, whatever set that's from the Sword Shield era. I have a playlist for it. And recently, I've been starting some more... I have started the playlist of, like, Hidden Fates, stuff like that. Not that, not that there will be a lot of those in there, because I've only done one one video of them. But there is a playlist of it, if you really want to go check it out. Swablu and that ball was also a dud. I did not buy these all at one time. I'll be honest with you. Sorry. I didn't have enough room on my desk. Here's the other 822. See the regular balls. The three main regular balls have... The A22 is on the bottom of them. So that's why I was like, I'm kind of curious. I have not actually opened and bought these out of the normal store. Usually when I buy Pokeballs out of a store, it's, like I said, the D21s. Those are the ones to go after. If, they, if they're not D21s, then, uh, yeah, I'm not going after them, honestly. Even though these ones are nice, they do have Fusion. I mean, they do have uh, Evolving Skies in them. So got my we got my girlfriend's favorite my favorite pack, you know. We, so we'd always pack battle on that, and the winner gets the... Uh, Evolving Skies typically is what we do. Me and the girlfriend like to do our little pack battles at home. I would love to get her involved in my YouTube a little bit more, but we just don't have that free time. Maybe later on in our lifetime when uh, all the kids are in school. We still have one little kitty at home soon. She'll be four in May, so she's getting there. What we got? Fusion Strike? Fusion Strike. Judge. That Judge is now worth almost a $2 card. It's, it's the new Marnie. So, Judge, if you have any Judges laying around, they're worth some money now. Shinx. And, uh, oh, a nice little Bolton. All right, our first hit. We have first Ultra Rare. We got a Bolton out of Fusion Strike. Bolton was a thing for a minute there. And you can see, I, I kind of noticed it, right? Look at look all those little marks on the Bolton Hollow. That is so disappointing. Poor Bolton. How dare he? How dare they have a badly, I don't know, bad quality or whatever you want to call it. Just, it looks like a lot of fingerprint marks. I don't know what you'd call that. A lot of dents in it. Sorry, Bolton. So sorry that you're injured. You're an injured little pupper. You're still cute, though. We all love a Bolton. Saving the day. What was that Disney movie that has that dog in it? Was it called Bolt? Or, yeah, was it Bolt? I think they kind of got that idea from that Disney movie or something like that in some sort of way. I don't know, but, <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of that movie. Anyway, what do we got here? We got ourselves double turbo energy. We got Piplup and Turtwig. Okay, Shred and Easel. Clink, Spiritomb, Farfetch, and... A Tornadus. Non-hollow rare. Oh, Pokeballs. Doing me wrong here. You're doing me wrong. Evolving Skies can make it up though, right? We're only missing 13 cards out of Evolving Skies. Just 13. It's kind of crazy in my opinion that I'm so close, but yet feel like I'm so far away because two of the most expensive cards in this set I don't have. With the Leafeon and the Sylveon. Now if I could pull them, that would be absolutely fantastic i would love it we got ourselves a crustal and a badge we got ourselves a badge bow gone see dot dot pick and uh, oh we got ourselves a nice rainbow copycat though 
I will take a rainbow. It's a hit. It's nothing crazy. It's a rainbow copycat. I pulled this multiple times. This is probably the most most, most pulled rainbow card I have pulled out of this set. Look at that copycat, though. Rainbow copycat has been pulled. It's got my Marnie on it. That's all that matters to me. It's got my girl on it. Got my homegirl Marnie. Absolutely amazing. That Pokeball wasn't bad. It got us an Ultra Rare and a Rainbow. Very, very nice. Now, I would have won that pack battle between me and the girlfriend because I would have chosen Fusion Strike. She would have chose Brilliant Stars. Anyway, got the Premier Ball with the E22. Are they the same? E and A are not the same month in the year when it comes to their Pokemon stuff that they do here. And yeah, I have to search through move this. If not, it would take me a month to take off one of these wrappers. If you ever try opening these things up, they're not fun at all. Do we get a different coin? Or is it going to be the E? Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. It's still an Eevee coin, so that's probably a good tell. That's probably the exact same stuff. But nonetheless, it's all right. We got ourselves up. Ooh, brilliant stars. Evolving Skies and Future. So they are the same packs. So if you were wondering, the current Pokeballs at Walmart, Target, whatever the case may be, these are the packs that are inside of them. No matter, I don't care if it's an A22 or E22, it's the exact same thing, which makes no sense, but whatever. I will, I don't care. They all have evolving skies in them. I just ruined the code card for you guys. You guys just saw that it was a white code. Now you're like, oh, skip this pack. Skip it. And, uh, all right, quick ball. Not bad. All right, all right we got a cook. Dilber. And I don't like the quality on these. They're very, very sharp for life. Eevee, Simi Sage, and a Scinti Scorch. Nothing crazy. You can never trust those code cards, though. They like to lie to you sometimes. They like to lie. Brilliant stars. All right, here we go. Got a nice cute shaman on there. I did buy myself a nice little shaman plushie. He's around here somewhere. Laying, he's sitting around here somewhere being sly, but I honestly don't know where he's at right now. I've got the shaman plushie because like the girlfriend likes brilliant stars. And I needed to come up with something at when I went to Knoxville. Something to bring back from memory, I guess. That I went there. So, yeah. And then I did, I did buy it from uh, Danny Phantom's uh, shop there. So, Electivire and a uh, Wormadam. So, yeah, I got to see Danny Phantom there. I did see Road Breaking Nate. Didn't talk to him. I will be talking to him at Fort Wayne because I know he's going to be there. Danny Phantom is also going to be there as well at Fort Wayne, probably along with some other people here that I'll probably notice. But those two are the two that I definitely noticed there. So, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I mean, it's still a seven-hour drive for me. It's still a seven-hour drive. Still feels like going to be forever, but at least it's closer than Knoxville. That's for sure. Anyway, we got those evolving skies. We got a seat out again. We got a bag on, a rainbow badge, and it's a Articuno. Okay, a Galarian Articuno. All right, then. All right, only two hits. That's okay. That's okay. This is educational purposes only. This isn't about the hits. We are not about the hits. We're about the educational purposes. I want you guys to realize what's in these balls. And now you know. Now you know if you want to go buy them or not. Quick Ball is definitely one of my favorite balls, honestly. I love the Quick Ball. If I see a Quick Ball, I'm grabbing it. Got an Eevee coin there. Very, very nice. Maybe I'll do a video of a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, letters on the balls. That way you guys can really see what you're looking for. Brilliant Stars, Volume Skies, and Fusion Strike. I know D21 has Cosmic Eclipse in it. J21 does not. Um, J21 is when the Love Balls came out, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, I mean, I do know a decent amount of these. I have them, I have kind of written it all down in a way so that I remember it. If you guys are wondering also, if you guys are watching any of my videos on any of this kind of stuff, whether it's the Pokeballs from Sam's Club or anything of that nature, I do have it in my description what packs are in them. If you guys are seriously curious and want to like reference it and absolutely. If you guys want to cross-reference it or whatever the case would be, come back to a video and, you know, double-check it. I do. I do mark down in my description of what the packs are in the letters. So, a little personal reference for myself, a little personal reference for you if you guys are curious as well. So, anyway, what do we got here? Brilliant Stars, still looking for the same old, same old. All right, Brilliant Stars. We got a V-Star, all right. Glory and Roseanne's backup and a quick, and an Ultra Ball, not bad. Not bad. Three trainers as your ultra rares. Interesting. Impidim. Sock. And a Darvish. All right. We got ourselves an ultra rare, though. Ultra rare Darvish. I'll take it. I'll take an ultra rare. It feels like we've been getting a little, we're a little, we're uh, kind of dry on ultra rare. So we'll take the ultra rare Darvish. Might be a decent Pokemon when it comes to like the Reggie Draco deck. And now we got Evolving Skies again. It's another one. And it's another one. 
Evolving Skies. What is Evolving Skies going to have for us? We have one more Pokeball left to go. So hold on one minute. We got one more left to go. I should have saved the Quick Ball for last. <sighs> Why didn't I save the Quick Ball for last? It's my favorite one. I should have. Oh, well. Energy. We got ourselves a Ryan. Very, very useful card. Robo Fett. All right. Dweeble. In a Sora. Ooh, a reverse fluffy. And a, ooh, Gyarados V. All right, I'll take a Gyarados V. I love Gyarados. Gyarados OG, Gen 1, all the way. Absolutely powerful. Pokemon Go, felt like forever. You know what I'm talking about. Pokemon Go, 400 candies. Back when you very first started, 400 candies? For Magikarp, so they can't even find anywhere? Oh, Gyarados, what's up, my boy? Oh, man, I still have my hundo. Well, of course I still have it. I've always had it. Why would I get rid of it? I have a hundo uh, Gyarados maxed out on my Pokemon Go. Oh, it's Mega, you know, and it's now my best, it's now my best friend and all that good stuff, you know. We all love it. Last Pokeball of this opening, and it's going to be difficult to open up. There we go. We got it. We got it. All right, we got our packs. We got our coins. The only thing I don't like about Pokeballs is how crammed up their packs, the packs are in the Pokeballs. Ah, but yep, I do love Pokeballs. I love them. When we have garage sales, we do sell them for like 25 cents. Kids will buy them, you know, all that good stuff. But they're good. It's a, they're cute little, like, you know, nice little display cases and stuff like that, you know. All right. Anyway, we're getting close to this opening. With that being said, I'm going to ask you guys this one more time. If you could, please leave a like and subscribe. Help support the channel in every way possible. Leave a comment down below so you can get that birthday Pikachu all that good jazz. It really helps out if when you know when there's um activity going on in the videos, definitely really pops it up. Gurmi, Voltorb, and Eladius. Nothing out of Fusion Strike today. Except for the Bolton. That's okay. Every pack every single pack has given us something. I mean, kinda. Fusion Strike and Billion Stars haven't given us ultra rares. Nothing crazy ultra rares, but they're ultra rares nonetheless. Okay, Alright. Here we go. Brilliant stars. One more time with the bad quality brilliant stars. I can't stand bad quality cards. I can't. Can't stand it when they look like they're so glossy and they just look so glossy they look fake. You know, Corfish, Magmar, Spiritum, Burmy, Grimer, and a Hollow Rare Dust Storm. All right. All right. Hollow Rare. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic with some evolving skies? Come on. Leave me some luck. Give me some luck right here. Wish me some luck. Last pack magic for Evolving Skies. Oh, man. Come on now. I know. I know. It's Evolving Cries. It ain't gonna happen. What possibly can you pull out of this that you don't, that you are gonna get that you really want? Oh, man. I don't feel like, I feel like we definitely did not get our money's worth out of this opening, but that's okay because we got, we were doing it for educational purposes. We got Pikachu. We got a Pikachu. We got a Mareep. And it's a Ooh, Flapple, Flapple to end the day. That's not all right. Anyway, we got four. We got four ultra rares. Got a nice rainbow though. Can't complain about a rainbow. I don't care how the price value of a rainbow is. It's still a rainbow from Evolving Skies. Anyways, everybody, don't forget about the Pikachu. As always, you know, keep, don't forget about the Pikachu. Leave a comment. Wish me happy birthday on my channel. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all love and support as always. And I see you guys on Monday. Until then, you have a really good week, and uh, stay safe out there, everybody.